Webb is a genius. By brilliantly experimenting, he has found a new way to control my island. The pretty lava rocks that lie on the beaches of Diamantina are full of energy that can give my island's fireball spectacular new life. We need no longer be at the mercy of winds and currents. And now that the high tides have gone, we can once again try to make lives for ourselves here on Diamantina. Perhaps we can work out a way to survive the high seas. But for the future, we will need new generations to keep our community alive. But how can there be young ones when most of us have no mates? Four hundred and one multiplied by eight minus a month of Sundays, given the tangent of the hypotenuse of a green banana. Um, what's that you're doing, Nab? I'm doing calculations to make a calendar, Captain, so we'll no be caught out and know exactly when the specially full moon comes with its flood. Excellent, Nab. What would we do without you? <laughs> oh, oh, wasn't that a nice thing to see? <laughs> Jasper, after what you did, throwing them lava stones into the fireball, you're no longer my assistant. Away, you wee booby, away! <laughs> Ooh, hello, Noah Pet. It is a terrible blinking racket. I put banana skins in my ears, but they came straight out my nose. I'll not do that again. Gertie, I've had an important idea. What is it that most of us here on Diamantina are missing? Mates, Bonnie lad, mates. I've got Rocco, of course, bless him, and we're knee-deep in vultures, but we can't leave it to them, although much too important. You and I will have to sail off and find perfect mates for all of them. Simple as that. I have exactly the right knowledge and experience. That was your idea, wasn't it, you clever burr? Huh? Well, yes. Uh, that's it exactly. Uh, uh, maybe we should take problem walrus in case they have any problems. We'd better go sharpish so we're back in case there's another specially full moon and a flood. Yes, I was going to say that. We can't just search willy-nilly, oh no. I mean, if we go looking for a giraffe but come back with a rhinoceros, there'll be tears and recriminations. No, we need a proper shopping list. But no more of these. Now, how do we decide who's top of the list? I know. We could have a race. Oh, good idea, Edge. He's almost human, you know. All right. The rules are simple. You race onto my island by the bridge and shake hands with Neb. Then you race back here through the sea and the first one to touch the problem walrus will be top of our list. Second to touch him will be second and so on. Rocco, you cheeky monkey. You've got a mate. Me. <laughs> I'm Rocco and Rocco likes a bit of a lark, tis all. <laughs> here, this rabbit's cheating. Blinking disgrace. On your marks, get set, go! Ah! Rage, you blinking baboon cheater! I can't wait to meet my new mate. What Noah's gonna fetch me? She'll be almost human. So refined. <laughs> oh, doggies, doggies, where are you, my doggies?
red giggling doggies. You're late! I've lost the race! Howdy doody, Racco! There's no rules against almost human ingenuity! Hey, hey, hey! I'm the winner! Me is Regis! I get the hoist, mate! We know you cheated, Bonnie, lad. Typical, if I may say so. Now then, Noah, this is a difficult one. Reg is disgusting and horrible, isn't he? Oh, I like Reg. We all like Reg. Sort of. But as a mate... Yes, I see the problem. Eh, uh, what's all this blather about? I won! Me did! Noah's going off on his island to fetch mates for us. And on the first trip, he's getting one for me! Cause I won! Mates! You mean more pestilential bears, monkey puzzlers and giraffes invading Diamantina? Peace and quiet for thousands of years and now? Goodness! You'll breed! There'll be litters of things like that under every bush. I'm not standing for this. the bride but my turn will come and she is out there somewhere alive waiting for my ridiculous self to love her oy, 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 oy. <laughs> I'll speak to you when I get back Rocco yeah all right then I'll be here Reg You've got about two weeks to get yourself mentally prepared for the arrival of your new mate. <laughs> hey, make sure her bottom is a redder shade of red than mine. Ooh <laughs> Tell Morris to see what our friend the Mammoth wants. Yes, Great One, the ruler of Diamantina. She says, you've got to speak to the Mammoth, she does. <laughs> then come back here and tell me what it says. You again. Right, tell her this. Mate, you see. Um, yeah. Reg. Litters under every bush. Red bottoms. Peace and quiet. Our dear home. Not standing for it. Bears. Giraffes. Got it? <laughs> what did he say? It said, p -p 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 mates, little ones, you see. Mm, yes, uh, p -p Reg, litters under every bush, red bottoms, peace and quiet, p -p -p our dear home not standing for it, p bears, giraffes, got it? Says, tell the mammoth to get rid of the newcomers. Doesn't matter how, especially Reg. They don't belong here, especially Reg. Our beloved Queen says you're to get rid of the newcomers. Doesn't matter how, especially Reg. Diamantina is our home, not theirs. Quite right, too. Were you talking to someone just then, Father? I thought I saw something. Of course not, silly girl. Talking to myself. 
one of life's great pleasures under every bush. Today? No! And no thanks to you and your shrimps! I am eating shrimps on a constant basis and they are yumsky for my constitution. You're a rat! You can eat anything! Rocco's a gorilla! He's not wired up for shrimps! I wish Noah was back. It's been more than two weeks now and all my medicines are on Noah's Island! I blame Noah for this sea. Outrageous, isn't it? Oh, could I have some more of that diamantina moss the old mammoth gave us? No, better not, Rocco. I don't trust that old mammoth. I wish I knew more about the local plants. I could make new medicines. What's that you're doing? What's that look like? I'm making a kite. Did you eat that nice mashed up papaya and diamantina moss I gave you? Yeah, terrifically tasty, thank you. And you didn't keel over and die at all? Yeah, just for a minute. Where's Noah? Where's my new mate who loved me to bits? Perhaps, if you had a word with the man in the moon, he'd tell you where Noah is. Man in the moon? You've seen him, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I've seen him. Uh, just his face on the moon. Oh, he can see everything from up there. He'll tell you. And while you're at it, you can ask him to stop flooding Diamantina, because he does it, you know. Yeah, okay. But he's up there, and I'm down here. Uh, Reg, you climb onto your kite, and I'll pull you along. When you're up there, shout to get his attention. He sleeps during the day, of course. Course he does. <laughs> Wait there, doggies. <laughs> Next go, sport. Go away, little pest. Rich. <laughs> this is the heart of my island, the fire bowl, which propels us through the sea. And this is Nab, our chief engineer. Say hello to Rita, Nab. She's Reg's new mate. <laughs> If he's powerful, if he's a true baboon, then this red shall be my mate. <laughs> uh, Neb, explain to Rita how the fireball works. <clears throat> so then, Lassie, uh, you see, uh, it's quite simple. Uh, put these in with the lava, and it creates a powerful chemical reaction, which allows us to steer. Yeah, she seems very nice. What do you think, Gertie? Will she and Reg hit it off? Oh, yes. I interviewed 53 baboons in that jungle, and this specimen was by far the most sensible. I don't like her, to be honest, or our Reg, but my instincts never fail, Noah. They'll get on like billy <laughs> this in the interview. Do you think it's the same one? Tell me about Rage. Is he very strict with you? <laughs> Does he bite you every day? No. Rage is very sensible and responsible. Almost human. 
There's not a thing wrong with Reg. And does he strike fear in your heart when he howls? <laughs> well, no, actually. We're all friends on Diamantina. No one is frightened of anyone else. <laughs> but when he shows you his bottom? Uh, yes. That frightens us. Aye, that frightens us. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, now, pet, I am sorry. I must be no judge of baboons. I'm that rare thing, a problem walrus. <laughs> a nightmare. A nightmare. Do, Reg. Ah! Oh. Hey there, squadron leader. You don't have a banana on you by any chance. I haven't eaten for three days. Shirley, fetch Reg a banana. There's a good vulture. Ah! You almost humans is jolly clever, Reg. There's a bird. Ah! I know all about flight, but this contraption, it's incredible. I want a banana! How can it possibly work? <coughs> Tarnation! Has a war broken out between walruses and baboons? Because if it has, I surrender. Now let me get some Kip Reader. Vida? I'm not Vida! I'm Reg! Raider! I shouted and shouted for the man in the moon, but he ignored me. Three days and nights he did. And I was so scared. I wanted to hug Noah. Noah's my pal. No one loves me. <laughs> My banana. Shirley? You look like a baboon. I try not to think about it. But you were a weak, soppy ape. Not like my new mate, Reg. Uh, uh, Reg? Reg is a king of baboons. He rules over a land called Diamantina, where all the animals fear and honour him. They do? Deary B, I see you've met. Uh, is everything all right? Of course it is, Pat. Look at the two lovebirds. <laughs> well, Lush, what do you think of our Reg? That is Reg! May I introduce Rita? Uh... Sorry, Noah. Can't stop. Got to get Rocco to the infirmary. Diamantina will be covered in your sort, howling and splashing the piece to bits. Do something, you soppy wimp. Be a proper baboon.
much better, thank you, Wu. Oh, what a relief. You keep feeding him medicine till he's full. I'm going to have a word with Noah. Sasha, when we finish this, does you know where we can get more of them yummy shrimps? Tell our beloved queen I have failed her. Only her strength, magic, and wisdom can free our homeland of these invaders. What's the old mammoth got against poor Reg? It's not just Reg, Noah. It's all of us he wants rid of. We'll find a way to deal with him. I know we will. Still, you and that know-it-all Gertie have found just the right mate for Rich. Except she prefers Jasper. Oh, I saw the whole thing, Jasper. You brave laddie. I'm so proud. I'm sorry I lost my temper with you. <laughs>